Okay, I gotta show you guys something. So you notice this is a retraction test. In this one stream that you can see right over here, this happened when I changed one setting on the fly. I know there's another string up here, but it's kind of understandable that up here you're gonna get some stringing. Also, you can see that the part's pretty messed up at the top, but that's another story. But let me tell you guys what the one setting is that I changed to make this one string happen. And when I changed it back, the string actually went away. Just for your reference guys, these are all retraction prints that I did this past day, maybe about like 10 or 12 of them. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why I was getting so much stringing. So the setting that you might not believe I changed is actually the fan speed. And I'm printing with PLA. Everyone who prints with PLA says blast your fans at 100%. And all those prints that you saw earlier, like the 12 or so that were sitting on the table, I blasted my fan at 100%. And then I dropped my fan down to 5% and all of a sudden the stringing was gone. Honestly, I couldn't believe my eyes. Like everyone was telling me PLA, you need as much fan as possible. I mean, I'm just gonna share with you guys my results. So I found that 5% on the fan speed caused no stringing, at least by the Adventure 4. And then that one string that you saw at the beginning of this video, I changed it to 10% and that string happened change it back to five and the rest of the print, except for the one string at the very back, at the very top, there was no more stringing other than that. So I'm a little bewildered, so let's do a test. I'm gonna print that exact same print with a 5% fan speed and a 10% fan speed and let's see the results. You can see for yourself here guys, there's only string at the top, nothing at the very bottom. Now let's change our fan speed to 10%. I'm going to redo this print. guys check that out that's only a five percent change in the fan okay so on the left we've got the ten percent fan on the right we've got the five percent fan huge difference in strain i've also done another test print where i slowed down the speed significantly where each layer was about 15 seconds this increased the quality of the top spikes dramatically i was printing probably around like 500 millimeters per minute versus 3000 millimeters per minute so those are the results and I'm kind of struggling how to explain to you guys why this happened. Why does a higher fan speed cause so much stringing? And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but all the other prints that you saw at the beginning of the video, the 10 or 12 of them, those were all printed at 100% fan speed. And those had the worst stringing by far compared to 10 and 5%. So it seems like going up in fan speed caused more stringing, which is a bit counterintuitive because PLA supposedly likes a lot of cooling. However, I think cooling is more so for things like overhangs or bridging where it's necessary. But when you're doing retractions, a possible explanation is the fact that when the nozzle is pulling away, you've got a lot of cooling, then any sort of string gets solidified by that cooling. However, if you don't have cooling on and the nozzle is moving very quickly, it's able to snap the filament. Also, the fan shroud is cooling the nozzle, so maybe that has something to do with it. I'd love to know if you guys have any explanations for why I'm seeing a lot of stringing when I increase the cooling past five to 10% on the Adventure 4. Just for your reference, I've also tested out three different filaments. I tested out the Base Flash Forge one, a brand new roll from Airy One, as well as a local brand by filaments.ca, which is a fairly cheap retailer filaments here in Canada. So I've ruled out that the filament was not wet, and I've also dried filament just to make sure and retested with that. Other settings that I've been playing around with to reduce stringing is changing the temperature from around 190 to about 220. I've also changed the wipe length as well as the coasting length. I've changed my retraction from like five millimeters all the way to nine millimeters. I've changed my retraction speed from 1800 millimeters per minute to 3600 millimeters per minute. And none of those seem to do it. Other things I've done is try to Google why does increasing the fan cause stringing and nobody seemed to give a sufficient answer. Everyone's always saying that you gotta dial in your retraction, like your speed or your length 
but I've actually tried them all and none of those work. So maybe it's just a limitation of the Adventure 4, maybe it's something to do with the Bowden tube, or maybe there's something seriously wrong with my printer's mechanical setup. But I guess I can't find out unless I order another Adventure 4, or if you guys are so kind to test this out yourself. One thing that I am going to advise you guys, if you guys are going to try this and increase your attraction speeds beyond 30 millimeters per second or 1800 millimeters per minute, you're going to have to keep your priming speed to a max of around 1800 millimeters per minute, otherwise you'll hear some clicking. That's what I found when doing all my tests when retracting at around 40 or 50 or even 60 millimeters per second. When the extruder would prime, it would try to shoot the filament through the Bowden tube into the nozzle too quickly and there wasn't enough heat capacity from the nozzle to melt the filament instantly. So therefore, the stepper motor just skipped steps. The extruder gear actually didn't slip on the filament, it was the stepper motor that was too weak to push the filament through. So it's weird how cooling is a culprit for stringing here. If you guys are curious what settings I'm printing PLA with for this test, I've thrown those all down in the description. The only thing that I've changed from print to print in this video is the fan cooling setting from 5 to 10%. It'd be interesting if you guys tested it out on your printer and report it back in the comments how it turned out. You can even link a video or an image down there and that'd be awesome for the community to see what's happening with this. Maybe if we open source this problem and just have a bunch of you guys try this out, we can see if there's any sort of difference between the Adventure 4 printers and their quality. So that concludes this portion of my video of investigating into stringing with PLA. I have more tests on the way, which I will be reporting back with another video. So stay tuned for that one and be sure to subscribe. Anyways, I got a couple of videos up on the screen that you might be interested in about the Adventure 4 or 3D printing. If you guys are there, I'll see you there. If not, I guess that's a wrap.